Skadoosh, my ninjas. Welcome back. Joey Moss with Bad Boy Gaming. Feels like it's been forever since I've been uh, in front of the camera, but I've had a lot of things going on, a lot of things on my mind. Had to handle some family business, amongst other things. And we are back up and running. So a big thumbs up for that would be appreciated. Bam! Joe Lechner sent me a little something. We're going to see what's up inside of here. Do appreciate him sending that out. But until we get War of the Spark right around the corner, which you guys know, we're going to be flying off the hinges with all types of decks and uh, creations. And also tomorrow, it sh tomorrow should be a very large video um, discussing the top 25 most valuable cards from War of the Spark. So make sure you guys stick around uh, for that video tomorrow. But until then, my friends, let's get up inside of these mystery boxes, which you can find at your local Wally World. That's right. I call it Wally World. Does anyone else call it Wally World or is it just me? I don't know. Uh, but we do have Curator of Mysteries. It's a four drop that no one cares about. We have seen that card a billion, a zillion, a trillion times. Here are the random packs. They're not random. There's five that you're guaranteed. This, 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 and this is our specialty pack. It's either this or Iconic Masters from my understanding. So without any more BS, let's just crack open these packs, mates. How is everyone doing? How was everyone's holiday? If you had a holiday, that's amazing. Um, uh, how was your weekend? Let me know. Mine was... Uh, Mind was needed. My weekend was needed. That's all I'm going to say. Um, but things are back on track. I'd like to hear about your guys' weekend. Inferno Helion. The Herald of Faith. A mirror image, which I really do like. I made a deck featuring this card. Pretty cool stuff, man. Dark Dweller Oracle. Believe it or not, I have never seen this card before. I know that's insane. So let's read it. What does it do? It's a two-drop creature, a goblin, a shaman. For one, sacrifice a creature, exile the top card of your library. You may play that card this turn. That's kind of crappy, I must say. You still pay its costs. You can play a land this way only if you have an available land play remaining. They, it's just not good, you know? It's just, it's, they don't know. It's just never going to see any play. Foul Orchard up in the piece. And an angel token for all the angels out there. Haru, hooray, hurrah. Um, I actually did karaoke. Um, we had house karaoke. There was a house with eight kids, um, my own included, and uh, my ladies, and then also a bunch of uh, her, um, you know, nieces and nephews and all that good stuff. It was a really fun time. It was a really fun time. The kids, every single kid sang a song karaoke style. We know how to throw a party, let me tell you. It was nuts, old man. Swift Blade Vindicator, one of the cards I had a lot more hope for. But I just don't see it ever doing much. It's a 1-1. One, one, but, man, it has Double Strike, Vigilance, and Trample. If you're able to pull that off and get some nasty uh, little uh, abilities out of it, it's pretty sweet. The emblem for Vraska is always good in the house, let me tell you. Ravnica Allegiance. Come on, babes. Come on. Let's get some of that nasty stuff. Can we pull something sweet out of this pack? Scorch Mark, some of this, one of these. No one cares about the commons. Let's face facts, guys. Get it through your thick skulls. Frilled Mystic, great counter. I hate that card. Bankrupt in Blood, good card. Clan Guild Mage, not bad. And a Smothering Tithe. Woo! You would not have heard the bell if this was, gosh, gee whiz, a month ago because it just wasn't worth much. But it's seeing a heck of a lot of play, even like in Vintage or Legacy play. Uh, Commander. Commander's really where this card's shining. If you're running white, you are running one of these cards. Whenever an opponent draws a card, that's the key words there. Whenever an opponent draws a card, that player may pay two. If the player doesn't, you create a colorless treasure artifact token with sacrifice this artifact to add one mana of any color to your mana pool. Insane amount of ramp there. If, if no one can take it out on the board in a commander game, it can get out of control rather quickly. You will become a target, my friends, because you're just getting too big. Um, let's see what else we get up inside this pack. This is Dominaria. Dominaria, my friends. Champion of the Flame. It's a spirit. Two-headed bulk. That's right. Uh, fun card, though. Uh, it's a four-drop, four-four. Whenever two-headed giant attacks, flip two coins if both coins come up heads. Two-headed giant gains double strike until end of turn. If both coins come up tails, two-headed giant gains a menace until end of turn. It's interesting they threw these kind of flip cards in here, I must say. Um, and then we got the Yargle in the background. Masters 25. Come on, baby. Give me something crazy. Let's do this. Cloud shift on the top there. 
We are looking for something fantastic to pull out of here. You never know uh, what we will get. That is that is the mystery always with packs. Crows and Tusker, Red Elemental Blast, Zolaport Cutthroat, and a Plague Wind. Destroy all creatures you don't control. They cannot be regenerated. And a Griffin Protector. So nothing insane out of there. Although that Plague Wind's not bad, but it is a 9-drop, which is, come on. Come on with it, man. That just makes it so steep to cast. It's ridiculous. Um, let's crack this. <laughs> let's crack this open. Uh, Joe Lechner, man, thanks for sending this out. My ninja, let's get to cracking, Captain. See what's up inside of here. Let's see what's up inside of here. Got to pull this back. Um, what? Oh, what do we have? This is what is this? This is yeah. This is okay. What is this? What is going on here? What is uh? We got a CD case. Okay, to protect it, I suppose. Okay. I, 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 that was crazy. Okay, let's see what we got. Joey, another watching... Uh, after watching a bunch of your videos and being your patron, I figured I would send something to you. So inside the case, there is something I made for you. And in the sleeves, there are three different things similar, but different. Your choice. Enjoy. Joe. Joe, my ninja. I do appreciate it. What the heck is going on here, Joe? What do you got, Joe? Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? Anyone ever tell you that, Joe? This is pretty neat, though. I like the little case. Look at that, uh, the work he put in here. Took some deck boxes, folded them up. You know, pretty neat. Pretty nifty stuff. So we got this red one. Um, so let's crack it up. Oh, hot damn, baby! Now that, my friend, is ridiculous. Can I slide this out without hurting it? This is crazy. You guys know I love Lightning Dragon. This is nasty, though. Holy crap. Joe over here made a 3D Lightning Dragon. That has a very warm place in my heart. It really does. That's nuts. It looks like he took three of them, compiled them all together, and made this crazy Lightning Dragon. That's just ridiculous, man. That takes time. Uh, I don't know how much time, but I know it does take time. For any of you interested in how this all looks, there's the size of it and everything. But, man, that is really, really cool, Joe. Thanks, Joe. Thank you, Joe, my ninja. That is sweet, man. I, I, anyone else is a fan of the lightning dragon? It's really crazy. I, I, I put a picture of um, the foil lightning dragon on, uh, on Instagram, and I got a... Cassius over there, the one Seattle uh, Seahawks uh, football player, he commented on it. He liked it so much, he went out and purchased one, <laughs> and he commented and let me know about it. Thought that was pretty sweet. Uh, but Joe, man, thank you. This this is craftsmanship, man. This is this is some pretty sweet stuff, man. Thank you very much, Joe. Thank you very much. It's cloudiness on these. Interesting. All right, what do we got here? We got the red. Is this like a custom? Is this like a custom red card? I believe you made a full art custom. I believe, yes, I'm making sure there's only one card in here. That's pretty cool. So that's like a, a land there, right? I'm not missing anything, right? That is like a land. You altered a land, Joe. That's pretty sweet. What did you use to even do that with, man? That's like uh, that's like some kind of different kind of paint there or something. That is nuts. You guys seeing this? That is nuts. It's very different. Joe, let me know how you made that, man. I have no idea how you made that. That is really cool. And that goes with the lightning dragon craziness. Imagine throwing that lightning dragon in a deck. Yeah, you know, I have no idea where it's at, you know. Uh, it couldn't be this card right here. <laughs> yeah, they're not legal to play in decks, but they are legal to look at in awe. That is for sure, man. That is really cool. Here's another one. Another one of these. These are cool, dude. It's very different. Oh, and we got the lightning dragon in the Japanese I believe that's Japanese or um, Chinese. I do apologize. I'm just not up on my knees. I don't know anything about these, um, about the language and whatnot. I do apologize. Um, really cool, though. I still want to know about these lands, man. I still got to know about these lands, Joe. It's nifty stuff, man. Bam! And there it is in another language. Um, Dragon Fulgurant. Vol echo li dragon fulgurant gagne plus one plus zero juscula fin de tour is uh I believe that's French if I'm not mistaken and another one of these tell me about these Joe this is awesome man thank you very much I have all of them in all the different languages now is that all three were printed in different languages that is crazy sauce man that is crazy sauce Joey Joe I love it baby I love it that is just cray cray get a load of that man that lightning dragon Thanks, Joe. 
I do appreciate that, man, a lot. This is going to go special places, my friends, special places. Let's get into cracking our second box here. What is inside of our second box? Will we pull something crazy? The world may never know, Mr. Ma. The world may never know. Thanks, Joe. Let's get to cracking, baby. More of the mystery. These are $24.99. And uh, they're just fun to open. Um, see what we can get out of them. So we got the normal stuff. We did get a crappy uh, curator of mysteries, the Ravnica Allegiance, and a Masters 25 in the back. Cool. Let's blaze through these like blazing saddles. You know what I'm saying? Anybody? Blazing saddles? Maybe? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. All right. We're going to get something cool here. I already know it. I already know it. This pack's going to be lit, man. Shrewfire Captain. Marshall, Wanda Vertebrae, Thief of Sanity, starting things off pretty good. Thief of Sanity is a very powerful card um, that has been seeing a lot of play. I wonder how much play it's going to see coming up. But basically, the dude like steals uh, your opponent's cards, and you can cast them. you got to pay the mana cost for them, but as long as he deals damage, man, um, you can play those spells. It's freaking nuts. Um, it's crazy how it works. Diamond Mare, Vine Mare, the Enchanter and Liliana's Contract. I will take that all day. I wonder if that card's going to tick up a tiny bit with all the uh, zombie builds are brewing around. Maybe, maybe not. This is Dominaria. Looking for that Mox Amber. Always looking for that Mox Amber. We got the Journey Mage. Fungal Plots. The Familiar. Yaya's Emulating Inferno. I think we have a foil, though. Do we? No, I got. No, I got a crack. Nope, nope. We don't have oil. Yeah, is emulating Inferno though. Pretty cool. The Bethnic Druid. Some of this, some of that. The Ravnica Allegiance Booster Pack. And then we're on to the Masters 25. What everyone's waiting to see. What crazy sauce will come about? Sphinx of New Prav. Pretty cool. Gate Colossus Forbidding Spirit. Bethnic Pyro uh, Biomancer. This saw some play more recently. Pretty interesting card. Two Adapt One. And then whenever one or more plus one plus one counters are put on Bethnic Biomancer, draw a card, then discard a card. Not bad. Not a bad card. Last pack to crack, Jack. Let's get crazy with it, baby. Come on. Come on. Tap into greatness. That's what it tells me. Dusk Legion Zealot. The Lizard. Some of this. One of these. One of those. Let's get to the good good. Here we go. Uncommons. Watch Wolf. It's a 3-3 three, three for 2. Not bad. Fierce Empath. Pyroclasm, and yes, a Blade of Gold Knight. Pretty cool. Crazy card. Crazy, crazy card. Um, flying First Strike. If a source would deal damage to an opponent or a permanent and opponent controls, that source deals double that damage to that player or permanent instead. If a source would deal damage to you or a permanent you control, prevent half that damage rounded up. Very powerful. And a Plague Wind Foil. Get out of here. That's ridiculous. What a wolf out the back. Pretty awesome neat sauce, man. That was cool. I didn't expect that. That was kind of cool. Cool little pack at the end. That's a mythic, by the way. Not bad at all. Gisela, welcome. Plague Wind, Foil, welcome. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Make sure you punch that like button. We're going to get into rolling in and getting all crazy with all sorts of War of the Spark uh, products throughout the next week or two. It's going to be bonkers. So stay tuned for that. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, go get checked out. Something's probably wrong with you. Skadoosh!